Archive Breakthrough Synthesizer will retrieve uh, 50 papers, well, or however many you like, based on the search term you provided, and com combine them up to two to four papers, uh, which complement each other to which might actually lead to breakthrough advancements. Let's run it and see how it works. All you have to do is just run this script. It fetches the papers and uh, it retrieves the papers and it uh, saves them into a JSON file like this. So you can actually go to the appropriate links, read about them. So all of their summaries are saved along with their URLs. Now we are waiting for all one preview to combine the papers that might lead to a breakthrough. Okay, we have, have we have now have the paper combinations. As you can see, it combined these three papers and it also explains the breakthrough potential and also assigns some probability for it. Although maybe the probability is not working. Uh, I've seen it give higher probabilities, but essentially it has retrieved a combined one, two, three, four, five, six, seven breakthrough ideas. So now we can use the second script, which can actually format and combine these combinations for easier viewing. Let's run this real quick. So it saves it both as a markdown file, research paper combinations, uh, the papers and the breakthrough potential in a nice markdown format. Also as a text txt file, just in case if you want to use this in a different way, for example, having a chat with ChatGPT or something like that. But we also have a third file. So, so far we have downloaded the summaries and the links of all the papers. We have combined them and we have also nicely formatted them. And the third file, actually, when you run it, will uh, generate actual paper by combining the papers which have the uh, most probability of leading to a breakthrough based on its probability rankings. Okay, and we also print usage statistics so we can see the reasoning tokens. And the generated paper is saved as a markdown file. So this is uh, obviously, it's not a fully featured paper perhaps. I mean, it's quite long. You can read through it. It's easy to understand. It's not exactly supposed to be a paper, but you can maybe think of it as a idea outline. But it's uh, pretty complex and it might give you some good ideas for uh, different research directions. So uh, this is how it works. It works via three different files. All the source code for this will be available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description and in the comment. I will review the first two files and then the third file, the generate papers file. I will let my AI code explainer explain it. So let's just begin with the first file, the archive breakthrough synthesizer. We have all our imports at the top. We define some constants and variables at the top, such as mixed results. You can change this value to whatever you like. We will retrieve this many papers. We do we get the current uh, date and we specify some files such as the archive papers, paper combinations, and a search term. So you can modify this search term. Also, you can modify your model. Here we are using all one preview. The system prompt, which which is going to which we are going to pass is a user prompt uh, because all one models don't take in system prompt is as, as, as follows. As a scientific research advisor, analyze the papers to identify promising research combinations that could lead to breakthrough advancements in whatever the search term was. Guidelines for analysis, look for both obvious and non-obvious connections between papers. Consider combinations of two to four papers that complement each other. Focus on quality over quantity, but aim to identify at least five, seven promising combinations. Great com uh, combinations strictly, only high probability scores for truly promising combinations. Consider different aspects, methodology, combinations, theoretical frameworks, and empirical validations. For each combination, include two to four papers that together could create synergistic breakthroughs. Provide a detailed explanation of why this combination is promising. Sign a realistic probability score, although it failed in this run, but it should actually do that. Uh, I have seen it do it. It's because you can change this format uh, if you like. You know, you can feel free to modify this script. Sign a realistic probability score for these and uh, format the, each combination here so we can parse it out of these tags. It's going to return the title of the papers, additional papers, probability, and potential breakthrough explanation, such as this. 
I think it just failed to return a probability. Okay, and we have search archive papers, which we are using the archive library for, and we are actually returning it by relevance, but you can change this as well. When we receive them, we uh, populate this information and we save each one of the papers as such, as you can see here. Okay, we then and we save it to file and then we prepare the prompt. We pass in here are the papers to analyze and we loop over the papers. We pass in the title and the summary and, I, and then we just pass in additional instructions, return the prompt. And here, extract combination is gonna look for these tags in the response message and it's just gonna process them and actually uh, write them as a dictionary with probability paper titles and breakthrough potential, which is going to result in this file right here. And, and now we're gonna sort it by probability because the generate papers is actually going to use the most probable breakthrough idea. Uh, well, when all one preview returns probabilities proper, properly, otherwise it's just gonna use the first idea, but you can modify that as well. So when we're analyzing the papers, we're going to search for papers, initialize our OpenAI client, and we're just going to make a request uh, and get the combinations, extract them, and then we are going to uh, save them as such with JSON. And now we're going to print the uh, usage tokens, as we have seen. That's pretty much it. Uh, next, to format the combinations into something that you can use, maybe, or refer to later, such as this, both as a markdown and TXT file. We are using the format combinations.py. We are getting the current date and defining some uh, variables for file names here for the markdown input file and the markdown and the TXT. And then we load the combinations and we, we have a function to create the markdown uh, bit by bit. This is the structure. You can modify this structure however you want to save your markdown. And then we have another function to do the same for text files. And in the main, just load our data. We create a markdown and TXT and essentially just print informational content. Now for the generate papers, I will let my AI code explainer do the explaining. Uh, my AI code explainer is a script I've written. If you like what it does, you can also download it from my Patreon uh, at the architect level, the $50 level. So, but the source code for this will be available at the Connoisseur, the $30 level. And when you do become a patron, you not only get access to these uh, source codes, but also 300 other projects that I worked on. Also my 1000X cursor course, in which I built for full projects using the cursor IDE, which I'm using right now. Also, uh, if you enjoy my videos, you can always visit my website and find all my videos here with the search bar. And if you're a patron, you can easily download the source codes for each one as well. Okay, so now let's see the code review for the generatepapers.py. This code segment sets up the environment and constants for a program that employs AI to generate academic papers by synthesizing the ideas from a combination of existing ones. It imports necessary modules like JSON for data handling, ArcSea for paper retrieval, and modules for text formatting and date handling. It also defines constants like the current date and file paths, and a template paper prompt, which guides the AI in generating a new paper based on input from various sources. Simply put, it's the code's way of ensuring it has the right tools and a plan before jumping into the deep end of academic synthesis. These functions work hand in glove to prep for the grand show of paper generation by handling data input and retrieval. Load Combinations attempts to load predefined paper combinations from a JSON file, fundamental for knowing which papers to work with. The somewhat more dynamic Get Paper Full Text title acts as your personal scientific librarian. It queries the ArcSiv API for paper matches. If found, it fetches and processes the paper text to get us the coveted full texts required by the AI prompt. If you can't find a match, don't panic. Fun in research sometimes means temporarily not knowing everything. Together, these functions serve the main aim of arming the code with the necessary data to churn out breakthrough research papers. This code block is where the magic of academic innovation meets AI ingenuity. The generate paper function executes the marathon task of assembling a novel academic paper based on a given combination of paper data and research potential. 
it crafts a prompt based on the provided data and sends it off to OpenAI's model to generate a comprehensive paper draft. This already Herculean task also includes meticulous metadata to highlight the AI-generated nature of the work and key disclaimers. Just like those encouraging side notes during a marathon, usage statistics are displayed post-generation to reflect the computational distance covered in tokens. Finally, all that careful composition is lovingly bundled and saved into a markdown file, a testament to modern collaboration between human and machine. The main function orchestrates the entire operation like the maestro of an AI-powered orchestra, initiating the paper generation process. It starts by ensuring the output directory is ready to receive the forthcoming symphony of AI-generated papers. Much like checking instruments before a performance, it loads combinations from previously prepared data. It then calls on Generate Paper to compose each piece, in this case, the academic papers, to providing updates along the way with its own brand of color-coded alerts. Not one to leave you hanging, it also catches and gracefully handles any interruptions or unexpected errors. After all, even maestros need to take planned breaks or adapt mid-performance. Upon completion, it even tells you exactly where to find the fruits of its labor. The if name equals go main check ensures that this orchestration only happens when the script is executed directly, keeping things symphonic and efficient. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects as a patron. You will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. Right now, listen to me. I've been trying to code, and you know, like I like coding. The fact that I can code and make things happen, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I'd heard about it. It's easy. So, um, I came across Thousand X Cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked, I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X, your coding. 